Hey guys, what's up? Majestic Gaming here, and today I'm doing a, uh, another video. This is going to be my initial thoughts slash reactions. On another game, recently I did Halo the Master Chief Collection, so I figured I'd go with the next game that we were really looking forward to that came out on November 11th, and that is Assassin's Creed Unity. So, um, basically, I, uh, I got it for Xbox One, and my, uh, I had it downloaded because I got the bundle, and I uh, thought that... I'd heard that you have to go through about an hour of gameplay to get to like the really good stuff, customization, free roam, all that stuff. And I don't remember if it was exactly an hour or around how much it was, because I, I remember there was one mission I couldn't get past. But um, for the most part, they were pretty easy, self-explanatory. Um, and my uh, first things, obviously the uh, there's downward control, D downward, yeah, um, motion or free running. That's pretty cool. Um. So that definitely helps getting down buildings. I still have the uh, kish, uh, kish, a case, occasional issue of trying to like get all on buildings, and uh, he doesn't do exactly what I say. But I mean, with a game that's that diverse, with that much um, movement, that's bound to happen. And uh, unless they can get it perfectly perfected, and also the uh, the fighting is a uh, I love the fighting in this game I think it's so much more entertaining than black flag when you could simply throw a smoke bomb and um, you could just kill like a million people with your sword and uh, that after a while got pretty repetitive but now the smoke bombs even though I still think they might be a little overpowered you need them a lot of times since if there's a belt like if there's more than four enemies you're kind of screwed and you have to run away throw a smoke bomb and just get out of there as fast as you can so it's definitely a lot harder than Black Flag, and uh, that's really cool. So once I got to the customization part, that was really cool. I customized my guy. He had an axe first, and the weapons I think is really cool. I don't think it's too really impossibly hard to get points. I think they're called Creed points to spend to buy stuff. I think you can get them if you just kind of do a lot of missions, and I did some side quests to do stuff, and basically I don't remember the weapon, but it's it's is pretty much a, a big pointy stick but it's uh, it's pretty cool I like it a lot and you can change the colors obviously the hood of your guy and um, the basically what I'm the customization and even though the map isn't technically as big as black flags most uh, everywhere like majority of black flag was water so you uh, which but there's no naval combat in this game that's what rogues for which I haven't gotten I probably won't get anytime soon but um, even though uh, it's not as big as Black Flag, Black Flag's entire world, it's still really cool. Paris is an awesome city. It's nice being able to climb really tall buildings. And uh, I did one time anom anomaly mission, which is the one on the train tracks. I thought it was pretty cool. And um, it was uh, definitely felt kind of different than normal Assassin's Creed. He felt kind of out of place, but that's the point, because he's going through time. So uh, that is another cool thing about the game. When we, uh, when everyone else gets it, I'm thinking we'll do some co-op missions, some heists and heists and all of that goodness. But right now, those are my main thoughts on Unity. I'm going to continue playing through the uh, campaign and doing some free roam, just going around killing people. And um, also something I thought was really cool, I know Black Flag had something kind of like this with the uh, assassin hideouts I think you could get. But basically at one point you kind of unlock this really big house, it's the cafe theater. And there's like a room where you can get Connor's outfit, Altair's, um, Ro or Shay's, and all the assassins. In Ed I have Edwards right now, but that's because his is really easy to get. Yeah, you get that when you're level like one on initiates which go look it up if you don't know what it is but it's basically a website that you can level up and get in-game rewards for Assassin's Creed Unity but um so those are all things all those things are pretty much love about the game and any negatives I would have to say obviously it's not it's, it's not running at 60 FPS I'm pretty sure yeah I'm pretty sure it's not um but I don't see it as much right now because they did a uh, patch but, I, like, right when I got it, I saw a lot of times the frame rate was being really messed up. Like, I'd just be 
panning around my guy climbing up something. Arno would be climbing up something. I just kind of pan around for a second, and it would just start lagging out of nowhere. So that was one thing I really had a problem with. And um, besides that, I can't really call combat a problem because it's supposed to be hard and coordinated with your friends. So that's uh, besides the frame rate, which I think is fixed right now. That's the only problem I really have about the game. Besides that, I think it's a really great game. A step up from Black Flag. And uh, I can't wait till we get to do some more gameplays on it. Or our first gameplays on it. So uh, recent, hopefully soon we'll be doing some list of our top... Uh, of our ranking the Assassin's Creed games and the assassins from the games. And uh, that's pretty much all I have to say about my initial thoughts on Assassin's Creed Unity. Alright guys, keep watching for more gameplays and news about Assassin's Creed Unity. Thanks for watching.